Munchies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back. Uh, so. I'm surprised no chatter here. No, not today, yeah. Yeah, I thought I'd see her. She's kind of a regular, but maybe she's busy. Um, I haven't seen Wafa in a couple of days either, actually. She's another regular. Who else? Yeah, and Heidi. I haven't seen Heidi in a few days either. Mm. No, the girls they don't like us anymore. No. <laughs> it's, I don't know. For me, it's today is some holiday. Oh, really? Yes, it's... Um, What holiday is it? Uh, Saint Maria. Mm -hmm. And so you have the day off, or you have? Uh, I am freelancer, so yeah, yeah. I have always free on <laughs> day off. <laughs> me too. Me too. Yes. And uh, I have some picture for you. Like, how is it look this girl? Ah, groat. Mavosh Kasha. How do I say that? Kasha Yaglana. Oh, okay. I was right. Kasha Yaglana. Novosh. Okay, uh, so it's uh, boiled. Uh, it's. Uh, uh -huh. So it's, it's instant. Uh, uh -huh. you drop it in with that. In, in yes, the you cut the this uh, back and you have half of work done. <laughs> nice. And yeah, that's easy. Oh, there's Wafa. Uh, how's it going, Wafa? I was just, I was just, we we're just talking about you. And hello, Rafaela. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good too. Nice to see you here. Good, nice to see you too. Good, and welcome back, Abdul Rahman. Uh, hi. Excellent. <laughs> I'm um, kind of so sick today, so sorry. Oh, you're feeling sick? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. So sorry. Oh. sorry, so sorry for that. No, don't worry about it. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Um, so um, today's class is uh, it's history and culture, but I uh, I like to talk about language sometimes in history and culture classes because I think that fits in pretty well. And I recently saw a popular video, kind of a viral video about uh, an easy way to learn Chinese. And maybe you've seen it because it's a pretty popular video. Maybe you've heard about this on an article or a blog or on YouTube or on TED Talks. And um, it's a special way to learn Chinese, which is kind of fun. And so we'll be watching this video. And maybe, uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah. And maybe we'll be able to uh, look at the uh, transcript, but I don't know. It's hard to do that. We'll see. Now, I'll have to send you the link for that. We'll worry about that later. So um, we're going to talk about we're gonna talk about irregular verbs today. <laughs> so um, sorry if you uh, have already learned about this today, but um, that is our grammar skill. And um, so I want to start off by asking you, uh, what you did today. So, uh, Abdurrahman, uh, Abdur what did you do today? Um, today, um, I, went, I went to the to, uh, to running exercise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then I played uh, basketball. After that, uh, I went with my friends. <coughs> they eat ice cream. And I couldn't because I'm sick. You ate what? They ate the the ice cream, 
and I couldn't see it. Oh, you could. Because I was sick. Yeah, because yeah, I was sick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, dinner, eating dinner. Dinner, mm -hmm. Yeah. Staying, go, uh, went to call and go, and joined their class. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, all right, so when we talk about irregular verbs, it's what, what are they? They're like verbs that when you make them past tense, mm -hmm. uh, usually they're ended in an ED. But mm -hmm. Abdul Rahman said, talked about he went here and he went there, and went is an irregular verb because it's, uh, it's past tense of go. So it's mm -hmm. pretty different from go. So that's definitely an irregular verb. Yeah. Um, what about you, Christoph? Tell me about your day. Well, it's whole day almost. <laughs> I woke up. <laughs> uh, I ate uh, breakfast. What else? Uh, uh, I wrote some program. Mm -hmm. I ate uh, lunch. Uh, then I went uh, to cinema. Oh, really? You see a good movie? Yes. Uh, red too. Oh, you've been talking about wanting to see that for a long time. Yes. Uh, so you finally eventually, I, I did it. <laughs> did it <yeah. laughs> and uh, then I started to learn with Kalingo, and mm -hmm. now it's 10 p.m. <laughs> and oh, I'm yeah, stuck that, with you. <laughs> stuck with me at the end of the day, yes. learning irregular verbs again. Wow, that's a lot. That sounds like a good day. Um, so he woke up. Woke is a irregular verb, right? Yes. Ate. I ate breakfast. Ate lunch. I wrote code or program. Uh, yeah, yeah. And he he said did. And went to cinema. Went to cinema. And he did it. He said he did. He finally saw saw Red Two. He finally did it. Uh, what about uh, what about you, Rafaela? Uh, you know, here in Minas Gerais State, where I live, uh, today is holiday here. Ah, for you too? Yes. yes, for me too. Is it the same holiday as Christoph? What holiday? I, I, couldn't, I couldn't understand the, the holiday of Christoph. Uh, Saint Maria? Mm, I, I don't think so. Here is the holiday of... Our Lady of Piedad, the saint, saint. Our Lady of of who? Of Piedad. Hmm. It's a Brazilian name. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like another some some kind of religious holiday. They both sounds like religious Catholic holidays celebrating saints. So they sound similar. What yes. do you think special on this day? No, I, I just have done some homework, and I have taken some classes in Polingo. <laughs> okay. Ah, well, you've done some homework and you have taken some classes. Those are both. Yeah. Those are both uh, irregular verbs. Yeah. <laughs> Take, took, taken, do, did, done. Good. Okay. Uh, hi, Wafa. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. And what about your day? Um, it was a busy day. Ah. Um, I went to work at 5 o'clock and at 6 p.m. I went to... I went to Armix and then I go to the store to buy this new modem. Do you call it modem? Modem? Yeah, for Are the internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was so busy for two hours to make the setup for the modem. Ah. Oh. See. All right. Is is my voice clear? Because I'm not sure. Because yeah. internet is just 
Mm -hmm. I can hear you fine. Okay. Yep. Good. Well, congratulations on your new modem. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I want to talk a little bit about spelling and pronunciation of some words. Um, in fact, I'm going to share something with you. This way. Um, read along with me. I'm going to share this on the screen. So although we don't normally cover spelling and when we talk about pronunciation here in Colingo, there are some strong relationships between spelling and pronunciation. One of the most common and confusing for, for you guys is that the majority of the time an O all by itself uh, without another vowel is actually pronounced like ah. Ah. So what about these words? Um, so Abdurrahman, what is this first word? Yeah. Not. N say it again, not. Not. Not, yeah. Not, not, not. not. Yep. And Christoph? Okay. Got. Got. Yeah. And Rafael? Forgot. Good, forgot. I like that. That's I like her pronunciation. There's two O's, and she pronounced them both very differently, but they're both correct. Forgot is exactly how I pronounce it. Forgot. And Wafa? Thought. Mm -hmm. Thought. In American English, we say thought. Just like stop, talk. Um, so, and now talking about irregular verbs, um, most of these are... Uh, uh, irregular verbs here, right? We have bought, got, thought. They all are spelled kind of differently, but um, all have this ah sound using an O. So try to keep that in mind uh, when we're talking about some of these irregular verbs. Uh, one common uh, problem I hear sometimes is when it has a U in it, like thought. Okay, so I'm going to type some things in the chat. Okay, so I just typed two words in the chat, and they're both spelled differently. There's T-H-O-U-G-H-T, and then there's C-A-U-G-H-T. And sometimes if it has a U in it, it throws people off. It confuses people. And sometimes I hear uh, people say thout or kout, uh, but we don't pronounce that U it still has this ah sound, so it's still thought and caught, like ah, very uh, vowel sound. Today when we're working. Okay. Um, and now we can talk more about irregular verbs. So let's look together at this screen. And we'll start with uh, uh, Wafa. This, will be, this might be, sim uh, this might be uh, familiar to some of you because I've already, I've already taught this today. But, uh, so I apologize for the, for the review. So Wafa, why don't you begin, please? OK. First you will notice that many past tense verb in English and in ED. These are regular verb looked, listened, walked, talked. However, the verb we use most for um, Frequent? frequency. Huh? Frequently? Frequently, mm -hmm. our irregular was eight thought took. Good. Correct. Um, so, uh, Rafael.
Oder mhm. äh, but. But. Mhm. Or just start with, uh, if you could start with the word second and read that whole thing. Ah, okay. Second, there is one type of irregular verb ends in the odd sound, in the past tense. But, thought, thought, cut, and thought. Right, and so this one is a good example of what we were just talking about in pronunciation that all of these, regardless of their spelling, all rhyme, and you did a good job rhyming the thought, 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 caught, thought. Uh, uh, for me, it's, uh, it's difficult to say the difference between the past of teach and the past of think. Mm. Could you repeat these two words for me? So yeah, teach is taught, and think is thought. And they they look similar. They do, um, but. Um, but this thought starts with a hard T sound, and the second one starts with a th. Okay. That's the biggest. That's the biggest difference. So taught thought. That's the only difference, really. In in pronunciation, it's the only difference. In spelling, uh, it's spelled with an A for taught. So that's a little confusing. Yep. Okay. Good. So, Kristoff. Uh, okay. Third. There is another type of irregular verb that change, changes in the last vowel. Get, got, forget, forgot, drink, drunk, give, gave, no, new, fall, fell, hold, held, sit, sat, th uh, th throw, threw, uh, run, run, uh, right, road, drive, drove. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, finally, Abdul Rahman. Yeah. For a few of the most common irregular verbs change a lot. These are the most common verbs in English and the most irregular. Um, am, are, as. Was, where, eat, at, go, went. See, so take took. Right, these are really different. Yeah. Like go and went. It's yeah. I don't know where that comes from. But so the most common ones are often the most the most uh, different. Uh, and then I can show you if you want to keep looking here, I can show you a chart of of uh, more of these uh, irregular verbs. You can see all the different uh, English words that are irregular. Now we have, so of course we have present, we have simple past, and then we have this like uh, participle, part participle uh, PP, right? So, so I, you would use the word have probably before these words. I, uh, uh, yeah, I am. I was, and I have been, right? So those are pretty different. Lots of different things. And then you see, sometimes they are spelled and pronounced exactly the same each time. Cost, I cut, cost, cost. I cut, and I have cut. Or uh, it... Hmm. I, 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 cost, cost, cost. This is usually costs, but uh, yeah, I guess to, co to cost. Uh, it costs $50 when I bought it, and uh, it had cost. It, yeah, that's hard. I, that's, that's tricky, but yeah, that is true. I guess it would, cost, it would cost too much money for me to afford. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Lots of different examples. I see more of these. And sometimes they're spelled the same, but they're pronounced differently. Like, like this one. Yes. Read red, red. Mm-hmm. Read red, red. So 
that gets confusing, but the more you use these words in everyday English, the more uh, the more you will understand them and get used to them and learn them. Uh, okay, so um, any questions about that? The the verb to read. Mm -hmm. The the past tense and the past participle are the same. They, yeah, they're the same, same word. So like uh, yesterday I read a great book and, uh, and uh, I have read many great books in the past. Okay, so it's, it's read, read, and read. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Yep, but they're spelled the same. So it's a little tricky. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so by the way, I was looking at your, uh, you guys talking about this holiday. And I noticed that the saint that uh, Rafaela was talking about, his, her name is Maria. So I wonder if this is a similar holiday. Beata Maria, the Dolorosa or something. I, uh, I'm, I'm yes, it may be. <laughs> so maybe it's maybe it's similar. It is the same religion, I'm guessing. So. Yes, the, the religion is the same. <laughs> Catholicism. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. You guys are in both. You guys are both in very different geographical countries, but you're both in pretty Catholic countries, I believe. I believe so. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think I want to work on, uh, I think I want to learn Chinese now. I want to look at this video. And I'm trying to think how to do this. I have a transcript of this. Uh, it's on the website. So, maybe we can use that. Hmm. I'm gonna see if I can do this. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. So okay. All right. So basically, this will be good. I need to share this with you anyway because if you can't use the YouTube app on the left, you can click on that uh, TED Talk website and watch on that website instead. And um, on that website, you'll be, uh, you'll be able to uh, read the transcript. You'll be able to read all the words that she's saying because she talks with, an, with a little bit of an accent. Um, but she's speaking very simple words. The English that she's using is very easy. But she does speak with a little bit of a Chinese accent. So we'll watch this video. And if you'd like to read along with the words she's saying, you can read it on that website, okay? But I'm going to show the video on uh, on the YouTube app, which is on your left. That's right. Is this left for you? And uh, and uh, so click on the YouTube app, and we can watch it uh, together. If you have. Okay, so um, Rafaela, do you, do you can you find that YouTube app? There's like a line of icons on the left-hand side of your screen, maybe. Yeah. You see Correct. the triangle. Uh, I I had opened the the link, so. Oh, good, you found it. Okay, I think. But but, uh, but I can. Open the YouTube. Yeah, you can do both. That way, you can listen and maybe listen and read. You might have to. You might have to switch. You might have to arrange some different windows to make this work. Or if you're a good listener, you can just watch it. It's not that hard. So we're gonna listen together. And uh, so check this out. This is a new, easy way to learn Chinese, and it's kind of interesting using like uh, visual. Because if you're a visual learner like me, it might be easier for you if you're interested in learning a language. So let's let's watch together.
Okay. Uh, welcome to the folks that join us in the middle of our video. That was probably confusing for you why nobody was talking, but we were watching a video. So um, welcome, uh, Isam. Welcome, Heidi. Thank you, teacher. Hello. It was Hello. hard. Yes. How are you guys? Fine. Thank you. Good. Um, did anyone get a chance to watch the video? I, I put the link on there, and we're also watching on the YouTube. Um, but basically, it's a uh, it was a TED Talks video of a, a woman that uh, is, it has a new method for learning Chinese by using uh, imagery and design. <laughs> To think of the characters as uh, uh, as pictures, because really the uh, uh, a lot of the characters in Chinese uh, are pictographic in a way. They actually somewhat do represent what they mean in a way. But over the years, that they've just um, morphed and evolved so much that they're very reduced and hard to understand. But so she's kind of trying to bring it back into that um, pictographic kind of style to help you remember. Now, of course, in this video, we don't. She didn't say one word of Chinese. I didn't learn one word actually, because it was completely in English. She didn't say one Chinese word. Yeah. Um, so, in order to really learn Chinese, you actually need to learn the words, and the intonations, and all that stuff too. So. But you are allowed to read. Uh huh. But you're able to read. Yes, right. You she, said, she said, "Sun. Sun is number two. She's sun. Yes." Yes. What do you mean about sun being number two? Um, I didn't. I didn't learn the the article the how to write how to write Chinese before. Uh -huh. But I think when she when she showed the sun, like it's a window. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think number two is called sun. Oh, I don't think that she mean the sun. I think she mean the spelling. I don't know. So you're saying that the word in in Chinese for two is sun? No, three. Oh, is it? Yeah, you're right. Each ni each ni sun. Each ni yeah, sun. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in this case, she was talking about the about that that character means the sun. Means. Maybe she was talking about two sons. It's a uh, uh, prosper. Oh yeah. Yes, two sons together is prosper. Mhm. Mm so, um, uh, does anyone remember where Shaolan grew up? Uh, where did she grow up? Like the the speaker. Where is she from? Don't remember. <laughs> it's actually not China, <laughs> not technically. Taiwan. Yes, she she grew up in China, in Taiwan, and um, and grew as an irregular. It's group. part of China. It's uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's owned by China, so yeah. They um, speak Chinese. What's that? They speak Chinese. Yes, they do. They do speak Chinese, and they also speak a Taiwanese language too. Yes, they have their own language as well. Um, so, how did she teach us Chinese? What is what was her method? Mm, by what you say, Abdul Rahman? I said uh, she used to show us how to learn Chinese by picture, imagining. Uh huh. By yeah. Okay. It will be more easy, easier. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. By the way, when you use um, a comparative like easier, we never need to use the word more before it because that's uh, yeah. So you just say easier. It was it's easier with pictures. Yep. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Um. Has anyone here ever tried to learn Chinese? I tried before, but not success. <laughs> not success. <laughs> I think that would be a hard language to learn. But, but yeah. uh, I, I, um, I know only grading and only basics. Only what? 
Only greeting people and. Oh yeah, 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 greetings. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Can I at least learn the greetings. Um. So why do you think? Why do you think? Why do you think she's spending all this time and money creating these uh, these methods? And uh, why do you think? You know, do you, why do you think people want to learn Chinese? Because of all, all the work in the Chinese, all the factories, all economic is in the Chinese now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw here in Greece a lot of people that want to to learn Chinese. I don't know why. <laughs> here in Greece, yes, a lot of people they want to play to know how to learn Chinese. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he used the word saw, which is past tense of see. That's a regular. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it is becoming because it's the biggest market. Biggest market. So maybe for business. Uh, yeah, it's uh, more people speak Chinese than any other language too. Right? Yes, <laughs> that's a good reason. Might as well learn one of the language that most people speak. It may not be the most important yet, but it might be. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty different language from most other languages, especially the languages that we speak, except for maybe Heidi. Actually, Wafa and Heidi. It's close up to Japanese. Huh? I said, it, is it uh, clo Chinese language? Is it close to the Japanese language? Ask Heidi that. <laughs> no. Heidi, are you? No. Are you there? So they use some of the sim similar characters. Yes, uh, yeah, the kanji are similar to they take from Chinese. So there's some similarities there, but even though they're close to uh, like geez, close to like there. the fire, uh, the yes. fire one, the Sun. fire. Moon the, the is the same. The article of the fire, but that two uh, things beside, if you, if you get it more higher, it's become like the father name in oh. Japanese. Hmm. I guess. Interesting. Huh. So she's trying to give us a new way to learn a language, a new method. Um, what are some methods that you use to acquire a new language? Because obviously that's something that all of us have in common. Uh, we all have a lot of differences. We're all from totally different places in the world. But we all have something in common that we're all learning a new language or new languages. And how are some? What are some methods that you use to learn? Before I used a very funny method to learn English. It's to compare um, some words in English by some words in Arabic oh, that wow. have a funny, funny thing. <laughs> really? Like um, using a dictionary or something? No. Um, like for example, um, like the farmer. Mm -hmm. It's in my accent. It's like the mouse has gone. <laughs> really? So it just stick in my mind then. So you okay? So you used a member uh, like a pneumatic device, mnemonic. Sorry, mnemonic device. So like by associating the word with something else in your life that you were able to memorize the, the English word. OK, mm -hmm. yeah, that's definitely a method. There's a whole website that's a whole new yes. website like that called Memorize that's based on that. So that's, that's one way to learn a language, what she's talking using a funny image to remember something. That's definitely a, a method, and some people learn better that way. OK, good, good. I use it with my younger sisters, and they uh, they said it's very, they memorize it very well. Ah, so it's very uh, <coughs> effective. Good. What else? What are some other ways you guys learn language? Any other interesting methods? New methods, weird methods, websites, books, yeah, movies. Um. 
for uh, vocabulary, I use uh, website uh, software that uh, uh, remind me some uh, words, and I can uh, uh, how to assess uh, how I know this word. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, uh, program the software give me this word uh, in different uh, time in frequency mm -hmm. uh, and for learning uh, listening I use uh, watching uh, TV series uh -huh. for your listening so. yes mm -hmm. and I li listen to different uh, styles like uh, TV series from UK and uh, US. Ah, wow. That's a lot of different sounds, a lot of different accents. So this program that you're talking about, did you say that you that you developed it yourself, you programmed it? No, no, it's not my program. Oh, it it's uh, prepared for from students from uh, Wrocław. From what? Uh, in Poland, from city oh. in Poland, Wrocław. Oh, okay, cool. So it's a Polish program. Right? Uh, yes, it's a pro only for Polish because it's <laughs> Polish English. Uh, uh, wow. It's called uh, E-Tutor. Mm -hmm. Nice. E-Tutor, yeah. Yes, and uh, it's a uh, dictionary with, is, uh, with uh, pictures. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. What are some uh, what are some other ways that we learn language here? There's no right or wrong answer because everyone has a different learning style. Everyone learns in a different way. Do you think to learn a Chinese teacher? Someday, uh, <laughs> I would like to. I think uh, I think that would be pretty cool. That would be a fun challenge because. I'm interested in the language, but I don't. Uh, I don't have time to learn it at the moment, but someday. So it's a, it's like. Do, one, you, do you know any word in Chinese? I mean, maybe a couple, <laughs> like the most basic words, but I haven't really studied it much. So I can recognize some of the characters, but yeah, I don't. Mm, the speaking. Do you understand hmm? them when they speak? Not really. Yeah, I have some Chinese friends though. But I mean, I can understand like three words, maybe. You know, I don't, I don't know Chinese. I haven't started, I haven't started studying it really. So. Okay, can you say one more? Well, what is it? Yes, yeah. <laughs> or uh, ni hao ma. <laughs> ni hao, yeah, ni hao. <laughs> that's about it. That's that's about the that's about the extent of my Chinese. So I bet I have, you know, someday I'll, maybe someday I'll learn it. And what does it mean? Well, mean thank you and how are you? Mm -hmm. Thank you and hi, how are you? Yeah. Um, but when you say ni hao, it's much like uh, how are you? But yeah. if you say ni hao ma, just like you are asking about what he was doing, how mm -hmm. are you and what he was doing. Can you speak uh, Chinese in Wafa? <laughs> no, Tibuchi. Mm -hmm. No. No, I don't think we have any Chinese speakers here. <laughs> it's okay though. Maybe, maybe if someone was watching drama or something, maybe I would get to learn it. But I, I can't find uh, movies or something that interests me to watch it. Mm. I think there's some good Chinese language movies. I've seen. I saw one a couple years ago at, a, at an art, art museum. It was pretty good. I can't remember what it was called. It have old Chinese that they don't use it no more. Well, the movie I saw was a new movie. But I think it was Chinese. Yeah, it was. It was good. I don't remember what it was called, though. Uh, so, any other methods of learning? Languages you guys use through games. Through the what? 
Games. 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 Oh, games. Games. Like, like what kind of game? For example, crosswords. Ah. Mm -hmm. Or memory cards. Yeah, like flashcards, memory cards. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. There's some good websites too that uh, that we can that you can learn languages from. So the things that I do sometimes, um, uh, there's you know language exchange websites where you can meet pen pals and friends that you can chat with and different and work on your language. You know, there's those websites, and then there's um, all sorts of different language websites that have, you know little lessons or classes or games. There's the uh, Duolingo, which has like it's like a game. Of learning. Yes, I, I'm trying to learn some of French. Yeah, me too. Using Duolingo. Yeah, I stopped it a couple months ago, but I'm at level nine right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. But it's yeah. So now all my all my uh, levels are going away because you like you have to like keep it fresh or else it'll go away. It's it's. I didn't I didn't know that. Yeah, if you stop it for a month and you go back. You have to st you have to like refresh everything and like you have to because that's really how you learn a language, is if you stop yeah. using the language you forget the language so you have to keep doing it every day, or it'll yeah it's true. It's like if you have all these plants and then you forget to water them, <laughs> it's gonna start mm -hmm. dying. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's uh, let's work on our uh, our regular verbs one more time before we. Before we leave, um, I want to just uh, uh, go through and uh, ask everyone to give me uh, past tense versions of my words that I give you. So, uh, Abdurrahman, yeah. Uh, what is um, actually? Let's give me a, a sentence using "run," uh, the past tense of "run," uh, in any way. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday I ran after the bus. Okay. Yeah. Uh, after the bus. Okay. Yeah, that works. Because you wanted to catch it. That was your last. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. Heidi, are you there? Yeah. Uh, can you give me um, a sentence, past tense, using buy to buy? No. Uh, I bought. Uh... Uh, three T-shirts. All right. Yeah, I bought three T-shirts. It's a good regular verb. Good. Isam. Yes. How about uh, teach? I taught a lot of things on the Colingo chat. Well, teach is different than learn. So if you're the teacher, you could. Ah, uh... uh, teach. I. How can I be teach in, in the past? Yeah. Teach. Uh, it rhymes with what you just said, actually. What? What? Uh, I teach these things. It's one of those art. It's one of those art words. Touch. Yeah, taught. 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 Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't like to uh, anyone taught me. <laughs> Why? When I taught the laptop, I feel it is hot. Oh no! I was not touch, but teach. I was going to say. Teach. Yeah. So t touch is as ed, but teach is taught. So. Teach became taught. Right. Teach is taught. Teach is not learn. Is another word. Yeah, it's like, different. Teach is the, the if when you teach something hard and you, you get pain, uh, headache. No, that's that's touch. Teach and touch are two different words. So a teacher teaches the student and the student learns. So, um, like I could say, yesterday I taught four lessons on Kalinga. So it'd be easy for me. <laughs> that I understand. Yeah, I. I think uh, I under I, I know that uh, only. Yeah. Uh, today I taught. I taught. 
two words in the calling of shot. Okay. All right. And uh, let's see, Christoph. Yes. Uh, cook. Huh. It's a regular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I cooked uh, pierogi today. Ah, really? Pierogi. Yeah. And dumplings. <laughs> yes. No, I've I've had pierogi before. Uh, all right. Good. Uh, Rafaela. Rafaela, how about uh, give us a sentence using the word eat? Past him. I ate um, pasta with cheese at lunch. Okay. Sounds pretty tasty. Yes, and that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could try to say I ate Christoph's pierogies. <laughs> um, okay, and finally, Wafa. Yes. Your word is give. Um, I had, I have, um, <coughs> I had, I had give the, the Armex, um, the package, give them the package. Okay, so give is a, a irregular verb. So, and give is one of those irregular verbs where we switch the vowel to a different vowel. Um, so, the past tense of give. Who knows the past tense of give? Ah, given? Christian. Given is the past participle. Got. So I have given. Well, um, so, so, yes, given is the past participle. And then Christoph typed the past uh, simple past. You can say, I gave. But what did you say? I gave what? Uh, I give them the package. Ah, okay, the package. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Uh, that's everything. That's our class. We learned, we covered everything today. Um, <clears throat> and we learned some Chinese characters and words. Uh, we learned what they mean, but we don't know how to say them yet. Funny was about argument. Yes, uh, we, the one woman, the woman, two women is argument. Three women is adult. <laughs> Very funny. That's kind of funny. So it's easy to remember that way, right? Um, okay. That's the end of the class. I have one more class today. It's uh, about Bob Marley. If you like music, you can join my class. We'll talk about Bob Marley. And thank you for joining me. Um, and, uh, and see you in uh, Chinese. <laughs> oh, yeah. How do you say see you in Chinese? Not see, buy in Chinese. Taijian. Taijian. Ah, all right. We got some Chinese speakers here. And maybe want on for some people. <laughs> Taijian. Yeah. See you guys. Okay. See Thank you. you. Bye -bye. See you. Thank you for the class. Thank you.